And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last time, we had just begun a murder mystery. So let's check that out. Let's see. Okay. Let's recap real quick. Okay, this guy was walking out here, and both of these two were found on the scene. Um, one of them is clutching his side. One of them was clutching his side other than me. Um, we'll get that healed up real quick. Um, one of them was clutching his side. The other one was limping. Um, one was armed. One was disarmed. Let's see what we can figure out body of Calder Nettick, who's apparently shot from behind with a blaster, okay. Greetings, Elvis. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help you with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Clay and the central government facilities here in Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Calder Nettick, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Nettick. Is there any information you require? What did you find, uh, find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cat hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the planes. Small farms and holdings dot the planes and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? I'll have more questions Very well. later. I will be here to assist you. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Uh, should I have? Um... I guess, under the circumstances, no. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Did you see the killer? I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. Hey, Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison he belongs in? Okay. He says that the sun was shining in Is there any other see. information you need? Um... These planes are there. So, is there... Very well. I guess I need to talk to Baluk. Oh. I wish to continue to discuss the murder. Kachichu 
My preliminary enough is there any... These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriaz are... There have been over 35 small farms and... Is there... Very well. More questions later. Okay, I don't want to screw this up. How can I be a further... What did you see happen? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. Okay. I want to ask How you can I be of further assistance? Why were you out here? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Do you often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> You're holding your side. Are you in injured? Injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can I be of further assistance? Of course. Of course. Okay, that adds a little bit more. So, stuff. what do you want to know? What did you see? Well, happen? I was out hunting Eerie as south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. So, what do you want to know? Why were you out here? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, what with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot, pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body and the areas was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? Can I ask you so, more what do you want to know? Luke's well, right. kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Right. Is there any other information you need? Very well. Oh. oh. These three men were out here in the field together. Dark storm clouds. <laughs> Onga kumbis chang ba mulira. Ka chikun ita haldonga. The rifle was found near his body with blood stains on it. Stimo po dona rundi haldonga ku hunka be. Ta kumju stach miki grabul mogo. Ka chichu ita haldonga. Tolo bang wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogi sha punga bola wana chikne. Mule slimo, poda da da nanga, kumbis, mule rabes. Runda di hotonga kun hanka di. Wana kumbes, ching pala mule, tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatukune, mule rabes. Ka chikun ita hotonga. Iking kuno ba mule ra chikun. Slimo podo na, runda hotonga ku hanka be. Okay. I want to discuss the murder. Okay. 
Nita Pue Tikito. Dolpa da Bongualeo. Muchacha. Okay. Ricard is lying. A copa, che copa? Gino Mulera Kempaija. Slimo Poduama? He was cloudy. There was no sun glare. Tong Hai Duam Gigi Jung Lumpa. Nita Pue Tikito. Dolpa da Bongualeo. Gondona Chuchut. Kachi Chu Ita Dundonga. Takum just Tak Miki. Grabul Mogo. Kachi Kun Ita Haldonga. Ye King Kuno. Muchishat Pakat. Kino. Okay. Is there any other? What can you tell me about Calder and Handon? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past several weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? Okay. What about Calder and Rickard? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? What did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body okay. indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Okay. Well, Very more well. questions I will be... Okay. So, we've caught Rick Hurd and a lie. So we'll start with him. So, what do you want to know? Did you know the victim? Did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit to ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. You thought Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. You can deny it, but there was bad blood. Right. In you. So. Why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Right. Okay. How can I be of further assistance? You knew Calder better than you admit. You run it as speeder. I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Punch his face in? Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Can I ask you something else? How can I be of further assistance? Why would someone want um, to kill him? Well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. Liar, you wanted to kill him for having an affair with your... Why? Like his block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. 
You know, normally I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear... Yeah, I want to ask him one more How can thing. I... Let's see. Um... Of course. Is there any... Anyway. Here's what I think. And I'm not sure if I've done a good enough job to prove it. Okay. I think Hamden came running to kill Calder. He shot Calder in the back. Rickard came out here to shoot Calder. He hit Calder, or he didn't hit Calder, he shot Handon. Handon drops his rifle because he's bleeding and it gets down there and it gets blood all over it. So I bet that's what's going to happen. Um, I want to discuss the murder. We got along quite well on the surface. The other man seems to have motive for killing Calder. Um, both men are lying. We'll go with Handon this time. Gino Mulera can paja, slim up Duama. He knew his wife was cheating on him. Tacum just stack Mickey, grab a mogo, catch it too, it a bodunga. Tolba bank, while a Uganda naru, chut chut. Mogisha po catch it kun it a hodunga. Ye king kuno pa Mulera chikun. Slim up Duama. Okay. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about the weapon found at the scene. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? Very well. Did not belong to Calder, so How can I be of further assistance? What do you know about the weapon leaving? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Um... Of course. Is there any other information you need? Is there a report hand? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. There I have searched go. and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Very well. How can I be a friend? Of course. Let's see if so, we can what do you... That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Right. Ah. Ah. Akupa, Chekupa. 
Gino Mulera can pay ya. Slim up for Duama. Blaster his hand in. He lied about it being stolen. The Hotonga Kun Honka B. On the Kun Bez Ching Palamule Tonking Ba Nunotek. Tok Ning Chatukune Mulera Bez. Kachikun Ita Hotonga. Iking Kuno Ba Mulera Chikun. Slimo Podona. The Hotonga Kun Kabe. Muchashak Pakat. Okay. Uh, come on. Don't do this to me. Yeah. Dangerous. There we go. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the Enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not Corga's. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Corga. Is there any other information you need? Okay. Thank you. How can I be of further assistance? In injured? Of course. He did not belong to Calder. Sure. So, what do you... Right. Ah, a kupa che kupa? Gino mulera kenpaija kislimu po duama? Okay, time to discuss the wrong Abu Sha Umina Wanga Kumbis King Balemuraya Shuni Yun Tun Chichi Idadwana Kapavol Pabuji Gumana Runda di Hotonga Kun Hunka B Wanga Kumbis Ching Balamule Tun King Banunotek Tuk Ning Chatukunde Mule Rabes it's hand in blood. Ah, uh, a kupa che kupa? Gino mulera kin paija kislimu po duama? He's clutching his side. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wanda kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatukunde mulera bez. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Chitu ba duwana nidi bobo. Tonga Bunja Nunya Tonga Tukashmak Telea Takunju Stak Miki Grabble Mogo Kachichu Itabo Dunga No, 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 Tuk ning chatukunde mule rabes. Tong abu sha umnina. Wanga kumbis king balemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi idadwana. Kapavolpa muji gumana. Ricard thought Calder was cheating him in business. Takum just tak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu itabo dunga. Tolba bank. Wale Uganda Naru Chuchut. Mugisha Punka Bola wana chikne. Wamule slimo Pudadara Nanga Kumbis Mule Rabes. Ka chikun ita haldonga. Yi king kuno pa mule ra chikun. Slimo podona rundio dunga ku hunkabe. Runda di hotonga kun hunkabi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tuk ning chatukunde mule rabes. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwalea gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chilamula ne ni du bobo. Wanga kun bez chang ba mule ra. Damn you. Damn both of you. Takum just stach miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank. 
There we go. You did good. You might just make a proper Jedi yet. Who knows? <laughs> Jeez, thanks, Kar. You did good. You might be able to make a proper Jedi yet. Who knows? I have no idea. Uh, I'm feeling the love, Kar. Okay. So, we did that. What's this way? Sandro Browns. Okay. Check around here. Man, Dantooine is beautiful. It's not as beautiful as a lot of the modern games like Skyrim, but it is beautiful. The uh, And I'm really frustrated. There used to be a website called um, Filefront. And back when I originally played this game, it was up and running and it had a ton of mods on it. And now it seemingly doesn't exist. Um, I've looked around for it. I can't find it anywhere, which is sad. Um, I wonder if maybe the uh, if the Nexus has it, that has any that would work, because um, there were quite a few mods on there that would have been really useful in this playthrough. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go down here. So we are running awfully low on health. Use that item. Like that. Down you go. That's the Albino cat hound. Hey, Karth. Gonna level you up, bro. Come on. Feats. Um. Give you a power shot. Ready. Let's go. Yes. Hang it. Chicken. No. You asked for this. Yeah. Frustrating thing is uh, that that there is is you never get any uh, never get any resources from Cathans, which, as far as frustrating things go, it is very forgivable. What? Sure.
also want to... Ooh, Mandalorians. Let's not tangle with them quite yet. Let's see what's this way. Um, I also want to point out that uh, I will be doing a full fled review most likely once uh, once I'm done with this game. I know it's about 10 years too late for a full fled review, but I'm planning on doing it for most of the games. How'd you like that? Personal assistance droid? As I said, I am C842, a personal assistance droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Are you Elisa's droid? Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. You were running from her? Yes. But I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Is she crazy? She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. You sought them out. I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you destroy me? Fine. I'll destroy you and tell her why Thank you did. Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. And of course he pops back up with full health. Okay. I think that we ought to go and fight some Mandalorians, but how close are we to a level up? We're about we're a few points Quiet. away from a level up. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. Keep it cool, you two. I don't want this getting out of hand. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent. Mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. <laughs> the war is over. You lost. They both have fair points, I think. Um, to a certain extent. Candorous a little bit less than Karth. Um, we're going to go in this smart. We're going to toss a couple grenades in. Die! 
battle so Nice job, guys. Nice job. Mines. The mines. <laughs> Mandalorian data pad. Let's see what that has. New items. Um, Twenty to twenty antiques. all of that so I think we found those caves too that they were talking about so let's go that way and just check those caves then maybe we can wrap up a couple of the side quests that we have crystal cave Woohoo! Can rat. Close Canadian. Good. Start. Again, both of them. some crystals, baby. Lightsaber crystal. Yes. Some of these are probably going to be colored crystals, other ones may be things that are perhaps a little bit more useful. After this, I think that we should probably go back to the Jedi Enclave and see what we can do in terms of Go back to the Jedi Enclave and 
level up real quick first. We got that up. Okay, we can go up to nine and persuade. I gotta take that, cause that's gonna be a little bit more important, I think. Yeah, we'll not persuade up a bit. Um, okay, part of me wants to get heal, cure and heal. Part of me really wants that. However, the other part of me wants to get some more offensive force powers like drain life. Um... We'll go with Cure for the moment. Let's check with Yes, Bunker. what's it? Dantooine's? Well, that's all I... You got it. Let's turn to the Ebon Hawk. Okay. Now we're all healed up. Let's see, how much do we have in terms of money? We have 2,970 credits, okay. We have several crystals that we can use, which is good. Okay, let's go see just what a new crystal will do for our lightsaber. We have Rubat Crystals, plus one attack, plus one damage. Okay, used in lightsaber construction, Rubat Crystal is mined on Themis. It produces a clearly defined blade that a Jedi can easily focus on. And then Bondar, what's this? Do. Hack. Okay. So it has a possibility of stunning. Um... Okay. This crystal was mined on a far orbit asteroid circling the Alderaan system. It produces a rather volatile beam that per pulses on impact, discharging part of its energy into an opponent. Which is hilarious seeing as we definitely got this crystal on Dantooine because we did not have one previous to it. Um, so, somebody didn't think that through. <laughs> Um, let's just go through and make sure each one of these is as high up as we can get it. Yeah. Melee, prototype vibroblade. That's good. Mission vibroblade. That's good. Armor. Okay. We've done all that we can. Let's check with Kander to see if he has any more stories. Um, yeah, what do you want? I was wondering if you had any more. You war want stories. another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted? I knew you were the type. Yes. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the outer rim in those years, <laughs> and you never will now. What do you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. Why? What happened? I think this story is actually a link to something else that was happening l much, much later in the timeline. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. 
Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. An asteroid? Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. A ship. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? Okay. Your choice. I'm good. I'm here if you want something done right. Okay. Now, what that was, I suspect, was a Yuzang Vong ship. Now, the Yuzang Fong are extragalactic invaders that actually invaded during Luke's time, but the ship description sounds about right, except for the fact that Yuzang Fong ships tend to be more organic. But, everything else fits, and especially the part about fleeing beyond the edge of the galaxy, considering that the Yuzang Fong came from outside of the galaxy. Um, the Yuzang Vong were actually the ones who killed Chewbacca in the Expanded Universe, which was awesome, because, um, it took Chewie, it, they dropped a moon on Chewbacca. Now, granted, it wasn't just to kill Chewbacca, but, hey, Chewie went out with a bang. So, let's see, does Zalbar have anything to say? Um... I was wondering if you could help me with the problem. Okay. Can you make me some grenades? Dang it. Okay. No more grenades, but we did get quite a few. See, Karth doesn't seem like he's wanting to talk. Yes, what's on your Let's just see. Yeah. You got it. He's being pretty quiet. So, we'll take Karth and Candorus out with us next time. And next time, we'll go and see what we can get from that grove. Um, yeah, we'll see what all we can get from that grove. We need to turn in Missing Companion and Mandalorian Raiders. Um, and then we'll have completed Jedi Trials as well. So Missing Companion, Mandalorian Raiders, and Jedi Trials. And I think the last group of Mandalorian Raiders is probably there too. So. The, uh, so, okay. Well, guys, it's been fun. Um, but it's time for me to go. If you like, please like. If you want to subscribe, please do that. It really helps me out. Um, have a nice day. Um, live long and prosper. May the force be with you. May the odds be ever in your favor. May the drinks be ever in your flavor. May Batman never need to visit your house at midnight. Same thing with Chuck Norris. <coughs> have a nice day. And stay safe out there, guys.